Renee Austin and John Primer for the Blues break this morning. My ex-girlfriend and I had a pre pretty uh, serious conversation last night. Got pretty intense. Uh, one of those really late conversations where you both know you should really get to bed, but you just got more to say, you know? She told me she has this thing where she feels alienated from everyone around her, isolated from her friends and classmates, like she just can't relate to them. And she wonders why. Uh, when did things change? How could she fix it? And I told her that I have this thing where I don't care about anyone but myself, and I've been yo-yoing the entire time she was talking, so if she could just repeat what she said, I could give advice. She didn't. Hey, today I want to talk about Taylor Swift's new single, Look What You Made Me Do. And I want to talk about it because, um, hmm, how should I, how should I put that? I hate it. I hate it so much. It infuriates me to no end. The fire of hatred that burns within me for Taylor Swift's Look What You Made Me Do is an unstoppable inferno that swallows forests and topples proverbial cities. It sucks. It's a terrible song. <sighs> now look, I'm, I am a hipster trash, granted, okay, I'm not gonna battle you on that front, but I am not, nor have I ever been, a Taylor hater, all right? I think T-Swift, very talented, and in the past has produced great music, uh, and frankly, I think she'll continue to make <laughs> great music in the future. My chip's still in the Taylor corner, all right? It's just this song. Why? Because it's not a song. It's a PR stunt. And it's so blatantly pandering and such a pathetic ripoff of the Madonna change your image to be important again method that, I mean, it's just, aw it's awful. Especially because Miley and Katy Perry have already done the same thing in the past two years. And to make it worse, they did it better. Yeah, they did something better, which is already incredible. At one point in this song, uh, Taylor's on the phone. And these are the actual lyrics from that section, word for word. I'm sorry, the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Oh, cause she's dead. And then, reverbed in the distance, if you listen really closely, you can hear the sound of my neck snapping. I mean, can you imagine a marketing maneuver more blatant than this, honestly? The old Taylor can't come to the phone, she's dead. Oh, Taylor, you're so edgy and cool. Wow, I bet you unapologetically jaywalk, whoa. I bet you wore Aeropostale in middle school. What? They're using you. Okay? Lying to you, my friend. It's a mockery of what entertainment and the arts should be. You deserve better. Better like... The Juke, the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight, plays blues music. Blues that reminds you, the old Brock is dead. I got Cage the Elephant up next. It's trouble. I'm Brock St. Clair. This is, of course, WMSV. I'm bringing a light in now. I got a light on my face. Watch. See, it's really hard to see me when you don't have the... <laughs> 